Hey there Tesla fans, Aaron Rath here from Rats Tesla. And as you know, we've been doing our series of videos on our countdown to one year, 20,000 miles. We're gonna take a quick break from that this weekend. And then next weekend, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have a video up because we're taking a family trip. So I'm not sure, but that will be the weekend that marks our, our one year. So in a couple weeks, I'll have the one year video. I'll do my review of my all my thoughts from this one year of ownership and all all my um, savings and I'll break everything down for you for one year of ownership and it's gonna be over 20,000 miles in that first year but today I thought I'd take a break because I got a new channel sponsor in Vosh car care um, and I want to do a car wash my car's dirty I haven't washed my car so I'm not gonna make this a typical car wash video I'm not gonna show you step by step on how to wash a car. I've done that before. If you wanna check out that video, check out my videos and you can see that one. What I'm gonna do today is I wanna talk about some of the Vosh products in in particular. And and I'm probably gonna break down, I wanna look at the wheel cleaner and the tile tire cleaner and then the tire shine at the end and see how that looks and see if it, gives us the fling that sometimes you get from tire shine. We don't like that, we don't want it. And uh, we're gonna test that out. I also wanna test out the foam for the foam cannon. My previous car care products that I used, I really liked the foam that came out of the foam cannon. It was really thick. And that's what I'm looking for from Vosh is to see if it's thick and to see if it sticks to the car and takes the contaminants away. And then we'll look at the detailing spray at the end of the whole thing. Those are really the three big things that we're going to look at is the tires, the foam cannon, and the detailing spray. So make sure you stick around to the end to get my final thoughts of each of those. But without further ado, let's get into the car washing. As you know, the first thing that we always do when we're washing our cars is to do the the wheels and tires first. So let's get into that and let's get going using the Vosh products. Okay, so these are the three products that we're gonna test out today. We've got, we've got the wheel cleaner, the tire and shine that we'll apply afterwards, and then the foam that we'll put through our foam cannon. I'm using other products. I'm using the shampoo and I'll be using the window cleaner, but these are the three that I wanna talk about today. So we're gonna get going on doing the wheels. The first step to cleaning the wheels is to give them a good, to give them a good wet down and kind of do a quick spray off of the entire car. So let's go through and knock that out. All right, in doing that, I just kind of knocked the top layer of dust and dirt off. Now we're gonna go through, and with our ultimate wheel cleaner from Vosh uh, um, Auto Care, we are going to spray down the wheels. Then we have to let this sit on there for a couple minutes. If we look at the instructions, it says, uh, well, it says that we only need to leave it on here for 30 seconds, which is pretty good but we're going to leave it on just for just a little bit longer and then we're going to use a brush to brush it up. So we'll give it a good shake and then make sure our spray nozzle is set correctly. And Bosch does send you spray nozzles for all of their items. So we'll give it a good coating on here. Make sure we get through all the spokes and back to the back. So we'll go through and do it on all four tires. Okay, now we'll let that sit for just a little bit. We'll get back to it and scrub it off. Okay, now I have my little wheel bucket. Never use the same bucket that you use for washing a car. I always put a little bit of shampoo in there just to help out. I'm gonna use my wheel brush here. 
We'll scrub this around here real good. Now the one thing with the Tesla that you don't see with other cars, and I'll test this on my wife's Tiguan later, is you don't necessarily get the, the brown grime coming from brake dust because there is no brake dust. Not if you use your regen brakes, which if you're a Tesla driver, you absolutely should if you want to get the full potential out of your battery. So get this done and get out my brush for inside the barrel here and clean the barrel. out clean my spokes while you're watching this I just want to ask you to subscribe to the channel help us keep things rolling also I'll have a link in the description down below for Bosch auto care and a discount code as well you can save save 15 percent off of the products using my code so now let's spray this off and see how it looks Did a really good job cleaning these rims off. Got all the dust out of the inside. Got it out of everywhere. Now, mind you, we will hit these again with the foam. I like to foam them when I'm done. But I'm gonna go through and scrub each one of the tires and get those done. And then we'll get on to foaming this car down. All right, now we're going to Use our foam cannon and spray on some of this foam. Let's see how thick it goes on. Okay, so that's not too bad. I would like to see a little bit more staying power, but it's still pretty thick. Still does a good job coating it and still you can hear it kind of uh, working its way down and taking the residue off the car which is exactly what you want the foam to do um, I mean it's not as thick but it is staying pretty good windows I'm not really too concerned about because I have a coating on them so that the water runs off. So I expected it to run off, but here on the front, ran off a little bit quicker, but it still is a good foam coating for our next step, which is washing. And I'm gonna go ahead and knock that out off camera and then we'll come back and talk about how clean it made the car. Okay, I gotta tell you, I am super satisfied with how this came out. I mean, you can see the water beating up really well still from my um, graphene coating. But this foam uh, works really well in getting the car clean. I mean, as we look here, it was really dirty. And then on the back, it was extremely dirty. And you can see with just one simple wash, it cleaned it up. So very, very pleased with the foam. I will tell you, that odds are pretty good that I did not put enough foam in the foam cannon and that's why we weren't getting as thick um, as I went back and read the directions I was probably I was probably light on the amount of foam that I put in the foam cannon so next time I will definitely try it with more but overall I am impressed with the Vosh uh, foam and shampoo combination getting this car clean 
Now let's get it dried. All right, so the car's dried off and I haven't even done any detail spray yet. And already, I mean, you can tell with that soap and foam combination, it really got the car clean. I also want to point out to all the people that were doubters for these carbon guards. Uh, I had people that were saying they were going to fall off if I drove fast or if I hit it with a pressure washer. Well, I drove fast this week and I just hit it with a pressure washer and all four are still on. And I also had comments about how it wasn't going to provide protection. And I will tell you, um, it's been rainy this week. Lots of splashback. And those carbon guards did a great job protecting the car overall. I had no splashback in this area where the where the mud flap or the carbon guard was working. It did an extremely good job. So for all the doubters out there, don't doubt anymore. But this car looks really good. Now it's time to get it pulled in and start doing the start doing the the waxing and the the wheels and the tire shine on the car next. All right, so now for the premium tire shine, I'm going to use their cleaner, and I always spray it directly on the sponge or the, the applicator. I never spray it directly on the tire. So we're going to give it a good five or six sprays for this first tire, and then after that, you should only need a couple sprays. We're just going to take this applicator and work our way around. Now, one thing that you got to remember to do is down here you gotta back your car up or move your car forward after you've done all four tires so you don't have one spot <laughs> that is that is dirty wow that tire shine looks really good very very shiny see if you can work it in a little bit here you want to make sure you use the tool to get in around the rim and tire yeah we'll let that dry and see how it does as you can clearly see this is very very nice tires are shiny love the look i still got to clean the plastic but the car is just and i haven't done any of the detail spray on it yet this is just a wash and a dry with the Vosh Auto Care product. All right, that'll do it for today's video. Again, a quick video about Vosh Auto Care, their new uh, or their car care stuff new sponsor to the channel um, if you're impressed like i am i'm really impressed with the product so i highly recommend it uh, go over to their website i'll have it down below in the description and i'll put it here on the screen i do have a discount code it's rats tesla that'll save you 15 percent off at checkout so get on over there and get your car care stuff this stuff is phenomenal they have kits that you can get that has everything you need in it they also have mystery boxes. They have a monthly subscription. They have all kinds of stuff. So go check out their website. I'll put the link down below. And uh, as I said, use the discount code Rats Tesla. That'll do it for today's video. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button. That way you know when we put up more videos, we will have our 20,000 mile review, one year review coming up here in a couple weeks. So make sure you're following along so you can catch that, all my all my details of, of what I like and don't like about my Tesla after one year and 20,000 miles. But uh, that'll do it for today's video. Drop a like and a comment down below. And as always, we will catch you in the next video.